Yo, what is going on guys? It's Dan Rhodes here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video guys, you are in for a treat because I'm going to be teaching you three incredible magic tricks that you can perform on your friends and family. Now these tricks are actually super easy to learn and you're going to have a lot of fun performing them. But before we get into this video, if you guys watching could do me a massive favour, please hit the like button on this video and also don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to give you three seconds to subscribe. Have you subscribed? Awesome. Okay, you delightful human beings. Without further ado, let's get into the first trick. Now watch this very carefully. We have three jacks right here. Now watch this. I'm going to take these three jacks. Now watch this very carefully. The first jack is going to go somewhere in the middle. The second jack, however, goes on the bottom of the pack. And the third jack also goes in the middle. But check this out, because all I've got to do is snap my fingers, knock just like this. One, two, three. And those three jacks will actually rise to the top of the pack now if you want to learn how to do that just keep watching now believe it or not this trick is actually super simple all you need is three jacks just like this and before you perform this trick you're going to take three random cards just like this and you're going to put all three of them cards on the top of the pack just like this then you take the three jacks and you're simply going to place them three jacks on the top of the three cards once you've done that you walk up to someone and tell them you're about to show them a magic trick you show them the three jacks on the top of the pack obviously when you slide the jacks out you don't want to slide too far or else they'll see the three duplicate cards behind so essentially you have three jacks right here and behind the three jacks you have three random cards then once again you're going to show them the three jacks but make sure you don't slide too far up or else they'll see the other cards now here comes the tricky bit when you're showing the three jacks you want to make sure that the other three cards that you have behind you're holding them up with your three fingers just like that so this is the exact grip that you want it in. Obviously, you don't want to hold out your hand like that or else the trick won't work. So once again, before you perform this trick, you're going to take three random cards just like this. You place the three cards in your hand and then you're going to take the three jacks. You're going to place them on top of the three duplicate cards. You go up to a spectator, you show them them three cards. Now here comes the tricky bit. What you're going to do is square the jacks back up and what you're going to do is you're going to turn all of the cards around. So you're not just turning the jacks around, you're also turning around the three duplicate cards. So once you square the cards up like this, you're going to turn them all around. Then all you're essentially doing is telling the audience that you're putting the jack somewhere in the middle. But really, you're just putting the random cards somewhere in the middle. The random cards that were on top of the jacks. So you tell them that you're going to place one of the jacks in the middle just like this when really it's not really a jack then you say you're going to take the second card place it on the bottom then you get the third jack you say it's the third jack when it's really we both know it's a random card you also place that somewhere roughly into the middle then all you've got to do snap your fingers you can do some dramatic gesture and you can show the audience that the three jacks are actually on top of the pack and you will get an incredible reaction so let's go over this one more time. You have three random cards. You hold them like this on the top of the pack. Then you place the three other jacks on top. You walk up to an audience member. You go, check this out. We have three jacks right here. We're going to put the first jack somewhere roughly into the middle. We're going to take the second jack, place it on the bottom. The third jack goes also in the middle. But all I've got to do is just snap my fingers and those three jacks will actually rise to the top of the pack. And that's how you do trick number one. Okay, everyone, now it's time for me to teach you trick number two. So for trick number two, I'm going to teach you how to take literally any playing card just like this and literally change it into another card just like that. Now, believe me when I tell you, this trick gets incredible reactions. And this is a magic trick that I perform literally every single day. And the best part is it's actually super easy to learn. So let's get into exactly how this trick works. So first you need to grab your deck of cards. And what I'm actually doing is pretending to show you guys one card, but really I'm actually holding two cards. Now this is a concept in magic known as a double lift, but essentially what I'm doing is pretending to pick up one card, but what I'm actually doing is flicking through the cards, grabbing two, pretending to pick up that one card when I'm actually holding two, and then all I'm literally doing is just snapping my fingers and dropping the card from behind onto the top of the pack of cards, and it looks like the card magically changes. So let me show you this again. I pretend I'm holding one card, but really, guys, I'm just holding two, and then all I'm literally doing is really fastly snapping my fingers and dropping the queen onto the top of the pack. 
So when you're practicing this trick, guys, the first thing that you need to learn is how to make two cards look like one. So essentially, I'm just flicking through the deck of cards just like this, and I'm literally just picking up two cards, and I try my best to make those two cards look like one. Now, this will take a little bit of practice, but literally just practice picking up two cards and trying to make those two cards look like one. Obviously, I've been doing this for quite a while, so I've had a little bit of practice. And now I can do cool things like this, but when you're actually starting out, just literally practice picking up two cards just like this and holding them by the corners and making those two cards look like one. Once you've learned how to make two cards look like one, you are ready, my friend, to do the snap change. So essentially for the snap change, all you're literally doing is taking your two fingers and you're placing them on the bottom right hand corner of the playing card. And then all you've got to do is literally practice flicking the card and snapping your fingers backwards, making the back card go behind the card in front so it looks like the card changes. Now, admittedly, this is quite hard to like kind of get your fingers to learn how to do the snap change, but it's just gonna take a little bit of practice like anything. Like when I started to learn this trick, this is what it looked like. The card would go super slow, but you wanna practice doing the move as fast as possible. So once you've learned how to do the snap change, essentially just flicking your fingers and making the card change, the most important bit is dropping this card onto the top of the pack without flashing the card. Because the last thing you want to do is perform the snap change just like this and literally flash the card behind because that would give away the entire trick. So when you're learning how to do this trick, I'd recommend literally just practicing it in front of a mirror and literally just practice that motion of flicking the card just like this and dropping that playing card onto the top of the pack without flashing the card behind, of course. And then you're all ready to learn the snap change. Happy days. So before we get on to the next trick, let me just show you how this works one more time. So obviously you need a deck of cards. You pretend to pick up one card, but really me and you both know we're picking up two cards. We pick up two cards just like this. We make it look like one. Then all we do is we snap our fingers. We drop the three on the top of the pack just like this. And you can literally hand that card out and they can have a look at it. One last tip for you guys when you are performing the snap change. I personally think it's better to change a black card into a red card just like this. The reason being is because it pops a lot more when a black card changes into a red card. Because if, for example, uh, a red card changes into a black card, it still looks good, but I personally believe that changing a black card into a red card looks a lot more visual. Just like this. So yeah, everyone, that is essentially how you do trick number two, the snap change. Let me know how all of you guys get on with it, and let me know down below in the comments how you guys are doing with the trick. Now it's time for you guys to learn trick number three. And so what you're doing guys is you are pretending to pick up one card, but really you're picking up two. So you kind of get a feel for it just like that. You turn the card around and essentially when you turn that seven back around, basically the card that was on top, it will actually look like that card has been placed on a table, for example. So say if I take a seven, I say it goes down on the table. And by that point, the card has already been switched. And the second card from the top has already been placed down. So you literally can walk up to anyone. You can say, check this out, guys. I'm going to take one card from the top of the pack. And all I've got to do is give it a blow. And it will actually turn into another card. When really all you actually did was lift up two cards just like this. You pretended to turn that one card around when really it was two. So what I do when performing this trick to make it extra convincing, I tell the spectator to hold out their hand flat. I pretend to place the card into their hand and I tell them to put their hand on top. Then all I do is snap my fingers and when they turn the card around, they literally can't believe their eyes. They freak out. So yeah, let's go over this one more time. So you tell the audience that you've got a deck of cards just like this. Also guys, let me know in the comments if you want to learn how to do this too. Just let me know. Tell me in the comments if you want to learn. So yeah, essentially what you do is you say you've got a deck of cards. You say you're going to take off a random card. Really, you're just lifting up two cards. So you're getting a feel for that one card to make it look like one but really it's two and that's very important guys to make it look like one because you don't want to lift up two cards and kind of hold it like that or else they'll see that it's two cards so it's going to take a bit of practice but you want to try your best to make it look like one card just like this then all you do is turn it back around you give it a blow maybe a magic gesture and it looks like the card changes and that ladies and gentlemen is how you do trick number three 
All right, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed learning them three magic tricks. Make sure, guys, that you practice, practice, practice. They're not going to take you too long to learn, but with a bit of dedication and persistence, you guys will have no problem learning these tricks. Also, guys, if you have learned any of the tricks from these videos, please follow me on Instagram and DM me a clip of your performance. I'd love to see how you're getting on with it. And also, if you want to shoot me a DM on Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok, I'm not sure if you can shoot a DM on YouTube, but maybe you can. Who knows? So yeah guys, shoot me a DM on Instagram, shoot me a DM on whatever you want, let me know how you're getting on with it, I'd love to have a chat with you guys. All my social media accounts are going to be linked in the description, so if you want to follow me on any of them, feel free to do so. And I hope you have a lot of fun learning, practicing, and most importantly, performing these tricks. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it, it's been emotional, and that's about it. Peace. I'm sorry for my soul.